Let none say that I have not paid my tithes in sweat and blood. Years ago, my father Godfrey told me to protect the weak and serve my king. And so I have, without question. Early on, I was lost in these lands. A stranger to its affairs and whims. Since then, I've become informed and confident in my strides. To the north of Yaffa was Acre, an ancient city. And with a single order, I had it taken. Time can be a potent balm to soothe old pains and wounds. And so it has been between Count Guy and myself. I took from him near everything in war. And still, we have since put aside our differences, and our rivalry has been buried in the sands. With the wealth of Acre and the support of Count Guy, we sent our armies to Tripoli. For two years we fought, spending most of it besieging sturdy walls. Not long after, Baldwin, my king and friend, passed on. Isabel, daughter of my wife Maria, and half-sister to King Baldwin, took up the throne. She has my love and my service until the very end of my days. Now, let us convene our council. The time for council is now, and you have the ear of one Lucius Hark. Speak with confidence and present yourself accordingly. I know of my fellow councillors like Sander Graf, and they are by far too easygoing. I will respond to those who have prompted counsel. Applicants for service will rarely be picked on that basis alone. Now, let us begin. Well met, warriors. I know that I can respect your opinion, for you have served in the most dangerous of capacities. Surprisingly, you call for development of our lands instead of further war. I can tell that the heat of the sands has cooled your fiery spirits. I shall tell our lord of your perspective. Go now, and serve well. First, we have Falco Kaiser, a Bavarian man born of a line of farmers. He met a knight before he went off on crusade, and that same knight returned three years later, maimed for his service. Sigismund was his name, and he trained young Master Falco into the man you see before us now. On his deathbed, he told him to come serve our Lord of Ibelin. Then we have Sophia, wife of Falco, and the survivor of many battles. Her first husband, and father of her oldest child, was a Greek knight named Albert. He was foolhardy, and known to make sound decisions only on the counsel of Sophia herself. He brought his then pregnant wife to the battlefield, and there he died. She, however, fought on and survived, coming to our lord's court thereafter. Since that day, she has married Falco, and together they make a tenacious duo in our battle line. Our council ends. Remember, Crusaders, keep the faith and fight well. We are now back in our Crusader campaign. Duke Balian is currently 53 years old, and he's come quite far. We've been able to really obtain a great deal of power in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Saladin II, the son of Saladin the Great, he's currently ruling the Arabian Empire. And right now, he's being confronted by many enemies, and so... He has not come for Jerusalem. Now over here we do have the Mongol Empire. They're now led by Jochi, the blood father of the Mongol Empire. We'll have to watch out for him. We've got England, France, and the Holy Roman Empire all doing well. Castile over in Iberia has grown too. And so has Aragon. Now, I don't want Billion, my heir, to have the same issues as Saladin II, which means we need to be careful. There are many people who would like to make plays for power. Now, Acre makes a lot of money. I've got a hunt going on right now. I wanted to reduce my stress a little bit. I've got to watch out for that. My capital is doing fine. I could move it. And one day I may move it to Acre. Or if we're ever in Jerusalem, we could move it over there. But for now, I like what I have. I own five out of seven domains. And I would like to potentially subjugate a few of my neighbors. At least a little bit. Now, I do have a spy master right over here, Navarro, Amaris Navarro. We're going to put her over into Jerusalem for right now. We need to find out what we can. I'm here to keep the queen safe, even against her own poor decisions. We've got to do that. Now, our entire kingdom is not very powerful, so we'll try to expand where possible. I can't declare wars on other vassals because soon after she came to power, she elevated the realm law to level 3, 
When you're at high crown authority, vassals can't go after other vassals unless you have a hook on your leader, which is what we probably want. And I won't threaten her, but there will be an implication there. I'll say, hey, I know something about you. Now over here, we're trying to change up the culture of Cyprus and their religion. They're not a big fan of me. They're Greek and they follow a different branch of Christianity. Now, there's also zero control, but it'll take a while and we'll take care of it. Now, I've got 14.9 gold coming in. What do I want? I want even more gold. I've got to have more gold. So that is what we're going to focus on right now, because if we do that, it'll only benefit my heir and our current people too. Count Guy, he's doing well too. Look at that title. He's the personification of battle. Now, he's got some allies like the Countess over here, but I'm sure he wouldn't betray me. Now, let's get ready as we continue to just let time pass on by. I've got my hunt going on, and I'm being called to war by the old Duke. Alexios over here is 69 years old, the parent, of course, of my son-in-law. He's not a bad young man. He's right over here. He's 21, and he's married to my daughter, Theodora. You know what? I'll go help you out. Now, I'm back from my hunt over here. I've gotten a new trade too. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind as the servants prepare the hare and other game for the journey back. I have held my fair share of hunts and people around me have started to take notice. Word is spreading of my activities. And so there we go. I've got my new trade, novice hunter. More prowess and a bit more stress loss too. Now let's get my army together. Do I need more than 2,000 men? Probably not, that should be good. I'm gonna take command, not you, Count Guy. If you want to fight, I'll let you do that. I've got 12 knights right now. Later, once I have a bit more gold coming in, that's when we'll go focus on other affairs. Maybe we'll, I don't know, build up my mangonels or some other type of group, like my armored horsemen, though those would be quite expensive. Now, I've got 79 gold or 58 gold now because I had to embark. That'll go up too, don't worry about it. And don't forget, the Assassin's Order is right over here. We need to watch out for them. They've got 12,000 men. They have a lot of power. And Altair, who we need to watch out for. Wait, what? Okay, my stepdaughter over here has a lover. That lover is the Prince of Galilee. I can't believe it. I do not like that. Not even a little bit. Hold on now. Let's have a look. I've got to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna let her know that I know what's going on. Now after that, I think I want to know more about him. Good job, Spy Master. Now come over here because I don't trust that fellow. We need to know what he's up to. We finally made it over here. Now, I've got a hook on you, which means I can modify my contract over here. Let's do that. Sure. See, look at that. Sanctioned war declaration. That means I'll be able to declare war anytime. And also, I'll pay 50% less for Cassius Bellies within my realm. Wonderful. I'll take that. Could I add anything to it? Probably not. I wouldn't think so. All right, fine. Let's go then. That's all I needed. Which means every vassal in the kingdom will be unable to attack me but I'll be able to attack them. That's got to be scary. Let's loop around and catch him. Now, one day I would like to pick up Accomplished Forager. Maybe my son will do that, but over here I'll pick up Conquest. Title creation cost down by 20%, not bad. And I'll get a new Cassus Belly too. Wonderful. A Cassus Belly that allows the seizure of counties required to create an uncreated title of duchy rank. That's really cool. All right, off we go now. I'm going to fight any duels I can. Another dead duke. 58 years old and blind. What a shame for him. All right. Now about that battle, they've got 1,300 men, but that truly is no challenge for me. There. They have no leader and no knights. A duel, you say? Okay. I'll fight. I could disarm you. No. Attack first. Attack hard. On guard. Let's try it out. I'll show you how I have the sword. She has 20 prowess, which makes her pretty good, but I'm much better at 49. And I show no mercy to the enemies of God. 
It's over. Goodbye. I'll gain Knight Master. My knights will gain a good opinion of me. And 150 prestige. God is justice. Thou shalt strike upon the evil. True. Goodbye. I've gained a new trait, Bumbling Squire, which provides for me plus one to my prowess too. Okay, the battle does rage on. I gained 50 more prestige because I killed a lot of people. I did. Now, I can't beat that kingdom alone. They do outnumber us heavily, but I'll be able to go after a few neighbors. Yeah, I'll be able to do that. My glory is widely known. Let's come over here and besiege one area. A new saint, huh? He was one-legged, he beat himself. Well, good for him. Now what's over here? A duchy claim! Well, thank you, Richard. He's quite talented, by the way. We shall take that. I'll go into debt for a brief period of time, but it's a duchy claim. I've got to have it. Done. Now, I do wonder. No, I have no prisoners right now. We'll have to hold on and wait. I got Count Guy to like me even more. We're not friends, but he does respect me a lot. Which is all that I really want. Now what's over here? Hold on now! The Prince of Galilee killed a princess. She was only 17 years old. So you killed your own wife? Why did you do that? Well now I know. And I can't believe it. I wonder. I should let everyone know. He's a killer. There. People don't like him very much. I do believe that was a good choice. My stress went down too because I am just... Have a look over here. I lost only 29 men. Their entire army was wiped out. Count Guy killed 30 men. Sanrisho, 25. Zenobi, 23. Kosu, 23. Now we're besieging, but I know so much more currently. I could get a new claim, but for now, why don't you convert people over here in Cyprus? Do that for me. It'll take you three years. I'll be quite old by then. Okay, that siege won't take too long. We now have a small harbor over an acre. That's really good. Count Guy is no longer trying to form a faction against me. And, look at that. My daughter came of age. A skilled tactician. I'll take that. Now you're to be married. It's matrilineal. Sure. Do that then. I believe they are related through my wife's line. She is Greek. All right, my money is going up. Don't worry, we're going to be okay. I'm only in debt for a brief period of time because I've got to be. That was a good choice. I know that it was a good choice. I could get Count Guy to pay me more taxes, but no, that's okay. I'll take a weak hook instead. Really now? Count Jill, you have a lover. I'm learning so much about all of you. I really am. It does stress me out, but I've got to do things that are a bit against my character. We've all done it. We've all had to. Maybe you're introverted and you've been forced to give a speech or something. Maybe you don't like to do that, but you had to do it. But it did cause you stress, and so that's how the mechanic works in here, too. It was refused. Well, I'll let people know. I've got to let people know. Perfect. They just keep on dishonoring their promises and vows over here. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to leave my son in their hands. Now, they do have more capitals. What I'll do for now, I'm going to continue besieging what I'm able to. Like right over here. Again, it's a great way for me to gain more experience and power. I'm here to help out my allies where possible. Well, we've got to fight. I am brave. 50 prowess too at my age is really darn good. Let's get him. It'll be easy. I'm the fastest blade here. Don't forget about that. I've got my blade dance. Strike, parry, repost again. And what else do I have over here? Strict guard. I could tire him out. Sure, I'm diligent, which means my stress will go down a bit more. Perfect. I have one again. He was actually pretty good, but now he's done for. However, if I do that, I'll lose 50 piety. I could try to capture him. Sure. All right, here's what we're gonna do. If he doesn't die, I'm gonna have him join me. He's 42, he'll be able to fight for a few more years without being hindered by age. We beat them again, we got them again. All right, that war is now over. Have a look at that. We got rid of him. 
Let's move up over here. I've got to watch out for that kingdom, so I do need to be careful, but look at that victory. He had very few men. Poor fellow. All right. Let's come back over here to my prison. I could let you go. Give me 40 gold. And for you, you've got to join me, but you've also got to convert. And for you, Vladimir, you're not very good. I'll let you go, but you've got to convert as well. For God. Now, let's go up here again. If I take out every single little army, we'll be okay. We're no longer in debt. We're doing fine. Oh, hold on. If you're done now, let's come over here. I want you to find out a few more secrets around the realm. I think you've got to. Yeah, you're right over here, Stephanie. Which means I want you to find secrets right over there. Thank you, Amaris Navarro. My very talented spy master. It's been a very long war, but man, I'm gaining a lot. Especially if I get to capture people and gain their gold. Now, there are neighboring lands I could go after. Like this little bit of rum. I could say, where's the rum gone? And I'll say right here. But, unfortunately, that wouldn't be a very rich area to take over. It would only cause me issues right now. One day, I'll go after them, but not yet. We could go fight them in battle, but... I feel like they're winning on their own. So we'll just come over here instead to besiege. We'll move up a bit in speed. Sure. Oh yeah, they were defeated. Alright. We've got, what, half a year to worry about? Margot! You're plotting, aren't you? Okay. Who has a lover? You do. Well, I'm not too worried about him. Keep on searching. We need to find something on Stephanie right now. And if anything, I don't have to blackmail them. I could just let people know. That's true. No, keep on trying. Okay, the war is over. We've caught everything, really. We can go home now. Hold on, there's one enemy army close by. I could try to go beat them. I am worried about these other armies coming for me. That war doesn't really concern me. And so back we go, perfect. All right, look at that. I've got a lot more money. I've got one prisoner over here. She's dying. I can ransom her, go home. Be at peace, join your family all of your loved ones, for you are now dying. I could also get the Pope to give me some gold. 340 gold, I'll take it. I'll spend my piety, I'll do it right now. Perfect. Then, I'll create a new duchy. I don't have to, but I can. I've got options, you know. I've been thinking about what we should do to further honor God in our kingdom of heaven. Over here, we have a killer. We can't permit him to stay. Now, he also does have lands that should belong to me. What's a shame, too, is that my niece is his mother, or was his mother. Now, let's come over here. We need to take Beirut. It's only 25 prestige to fight that war. We should be able to easily win. You'll see my plans come into play in just a moment. Let's get everyone together. I've got my 500 gold. What I'll do after the war, I'll probably upgrade my mangonels. There we go. Do I need more men? Probably not. I'll take command again. We'll come right over here to their capital. Ah, I found your army too. We'll go beat their army first. We could end that war quickly. Now let's go. Getting so much more money. We're currently at four speed. We just want to catch them wherever we can. Like right there. The city of Sidon. We got them. All right, let's go into a duel, maybe. Yeah, I'll do it. Hello there, Onfroy. Time for me to duel again. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna duel all the time. Now, because I do have a trait called Novice Hunter, I've got an option over here. I could take my knife and stab him a bit, which is really darn cool, but it's not how I fight. And we're about to win anyway. Victory again. He's been wounded. Now, I don't want to lose Piety. He's currently 47. He's not very good. Eh. Get over here, okay? Unfortunately for him, he's now dying. And what's happening? Now, if I take command and I'm severely injured, I could die. I am getting older. Which means instead I'll tell Kosu to go do it. I'm not here to die. Not right now. He's been severely injured. Hopefully someone will treat him. And by the way, here's a new wife for you. Alright, that battle is over. We've won. 
I lost only 26 men. They lost 815 men. That's incredible. We caught so many of them too. Wow. Now let's go down to their capital. If I capture the right people, well, we're gonna be able to end that war. I can ransom two of you. I'm gonna do that right away because people tend to die in my prisons. They're not very comfortable for whatever reason. Hold on now. You're part of Count Guy's family and your mother is my niece. You know what? Come join me. Come do that, okay? And for you, I don't really care for you. What now? Michael, what are you doing? You're married to my daughter. You know what? Let the traitor be known to all. Let him be angered about it. But now everyone knows. I'm not going to deprive my grandchildren of a father unless I have to. That's a very grave choice. Okay, so now we're taking over Tiberius too. It's a relatively poorly defended area, so that shouldn't be too difficult. The Pope had a hook on me because I did request a new priest, a new court chaplain. He gave me one. And I'm glad I did it. The Pope did impress his hook. And of course, we've got Richard. And Richard is so darn good. Not only that, he is relatively young. He's currently 30 years old. We're about to win the siege too. Now, if you're curious, I do manage my court in between parts here which means every single child in my court is meant to have an educator. And I also like to arrange marriages too. It's a bit of micromanagement, but it does help out a lot. I only wish I got more notifications whenever they were ready for an educator, like whenever their personality forms. Only a few more days to go. Oh, there we go, Prince. I know you're angry, but that's okay. I feel great. And I did it for God too. All right, it's over. We've won. Well, good job, my daughter. Look at me. I'm a grandfather. Okay, it only took a few months over here, and now the war is over. Your vassal belongs to me. We know that he cheated on his wife. Oh, that poor woman. She's dying too. That's my niece. She's been wounded. What a shame. All right, well... We're still purging the lands over here. I could have him excommunicated. I could do that. But it would cost me 500 piety. And I do need more piety. Speaking of, maybe I should go on a pilgrimage. Yeah, I should do that. Off we go then. I think I'll go to the Vatican. 250 gold gone. But it's about time. I want to do it before I get too old, where it could be more of a danger. I could catch a cold and die. I don't want that. Now have a look at that too. I own the entire shoreline. If they want to get to the Mediterranean, they've got to get through me. And I still do have a lot of gold too, so here's what we're going to do. Let's see. Well, we do need more patrol. We've got low patrol over in two areas over on Cyprus. What's happening over here? Ah, my trading post is blocked right now. There's probably a battle going on, I'm sure. What now? Even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. Yeah, look at that. I could gain an illness. However, 250 piety sounds great. I'm not gonna hide. Do I feel okay? I do. And I have more piety too, which means if I want to excommunicate someone, I can. It wouldn't be a big deal. Wow, we do have a lot of children around here. Navarro, I don't know who you're going to marry yet. You're beautiful, you're shrewd, you're very good at intrigue. You're bad at martial matters, but that's okay. I'll find someone decent for you, but not yet. You've got a job to focus on. It's really one of those more pensive moments, and I'm sure many of you have also had this time where you go out at night, you look up, and you just begin to wonder. So, it's happened to Billion too. Out here, late at night, I sometimes look to the stars and wonder, can God even see me this far from home? Alright, let's have a look now. I could lose stress over here and gain two diplomacy. Or, I could become a dedicated pilgrim for ten years. I'll do that. With all of my money, I could make more money. And what now? You want me to help you? Sure. Hold on, I'll ransom you. Actually, you won't give me any money, so I won't do that. 
You won't pay for your wife. Weird. I could recruit her. Yeah, stay over here. And here's your daughter, too. She'll join me, too. Perfect. <laughs> That's got to feel pretty bad. Yeah, I could get your daughter to marry someone. Like a good warrior. There we go. Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. I've done it. That gave me 625 more piety. Not bad. Here we go. Monthly piety per night up by 2% for two years. Look at that piety now. That was a really good choice. I'm getting a lot more. I should soon become a paragon of virtue. And again, if I want to have people excommunicated, who's going to tell me no? Not many. All right. There we are. Be angry. I don't care. <laughs> oh, he hates it a lot. You're most disturbed. Well, I am too, Pope. It's like I went right over there to let him know too. All right, so I've been called into a war. Are you doing okay or do you need my help? You usually do need my help. Just in case, I'll send over an army. I like to honor my alliances. I don't always do that, but for this campaign, I have been. Largely because Billion would. My other characters, well, some have been honorable, not all of them. And we'll come right over here. Back to the Adriatic. I brought my army back home because, have a look over here, they actually won. Well, good job, Duke, you did it. Now, I was going to switch over to learning to try to get to Iron Constitution, but instead I'm going to double down, I think. I'm going to head right over here. I would like to, I don't know, force people to become my vassal if possible. I think it's a really good idea. Now, my heir over here has come of age. He's currently 16, brave, temperate, just. He's got a level 4 education, plus 8 to martial, so he's quite good at that. He's one unyielding defender, that's great. Friendly fatal casualties go down by 25%. One aspiring blade master and a famous champion too. We've seen a lot more blade masters even on the battlefield. It's been quite fun to see that. I mean, if you fight that many wars, you're probably pretty okay if you haven't died yet. Now, when it comes to my mangonels, I've upgraded them by one. From there, I'm spending my money on trying to make more gold. Like over here, I've got crop fields coming by. That should help out. What else do we have? We're doing fine. Yeah, we're doing okay. I wonder, who should I fight right now? Oh, Prince, you're still here, only because the Queen is your lover. I haven't revealed that because I don't want to harm her, but we have an issue. Oh, wonderful. Right, I could take your entire duchy. True. I'm coming down then. I've got to, Duke Hanfroy. I know, I know, we're fighting our own. But I'm doing it to unite our people, which is a good thing. Let's get everyone together if we can. We can't do it yet. We'll have to wait. I disbanded my army, and it takes time to bring them back together. So what we'll do instead, we're going to rally up over here. I could have waited, but I chose not to. I want to find out who might want to join me. Oh, they're besieging. Good luck to them. All right, only a bit more time to go. That war is over. That peasant is dead, too. Yeah, have a look at that. 27 days. We should have everyone. There's my son, too. I could let him lead, but I'm not going to do that. He's going to fight instead. I'll take command as I get to duel. What great bait. Now they're all here, and my people are safe. They're doing okay. 1,500 men. They're losing a few. We got them here and now. He's got 12 knights. None are very good. What now? Oh, good job, my boy. He maimed an enemy. I'll go after Alphonse. Perfect. Oh, I'm trying a legendary technique. I love that. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. I do my best to recall the legends in the spur of the moment and try to heft my sword as the heroes of old. It's enough for a solid blow against my surprise foe. Alphonse adopts a defensive stance, doing his absolute best to ward me off. The man's eyes following my every movement. But I did it. I got him. I read it in a book, and I used it. Amazing. Let's beat him. It's over now. What's over here now? 
The Battle of the Barony of Evelyn. Indulging myself in combat against some of the enemy's levies, I find myself slashing through their weaker, less trained forces with ease. Cutting down a few enemies every few minutes, the soldiers alongside me are equally thrilled as their unmatched skills give them easy kills. Eventually, I find myself clashing with a slightly shorter, skinnier opponent who rushes me frantically. I step aside and allow them to fall past me, stumbling to the ground. He's only a kid. I'm not going to kill him. There. Go on. And for you, Alphonse. I'll capture you too. I'm not going to kill Christians. Not them. Well, look at that. It's over. We got them all. And evidently, we found someone who's quite good. Alright. You'll come join me, whoever you might be. Ah, there we go. 15 years old. Not bad. Marry her, have a child. Perfect. Okay, that war is over. It took me more time to rally my soldiers than to win the war. Let's have a look over here real quick. Okay, he died. He was killed by Nizam. I caught a lot of people. Billion, you killed, what, 23? Nice work. Oh yeah, we got him. Now I have your duchy. Eventually I'll change up the local counts, but I can't do that just yet. Oh, I've got a few people I'm able to ransom. Great. Now, I've largely caught old men. He didn't really have a lot of talented people. All the talent in our kingdom is pretty much in my court, though Lord Honfroy over here is a very talented diplomat. That much is true. I wonder. We could find out more about him. He's my vassal now. He's going to serve me. Which is fair and fine. Yeah, keep on looking for any secrets you're able to find. We're almost done converting too. And have a look at that again. I've got even more land. I only need a little bit more. I'm not here to betray the queen. I'm here to help out the queen. Now I can't go after you. Though I could have you excommunicated. I'm not going to do that, but I could. I've got that sway over here. I could call for a hunt. I think what I'll do for now, I'm going to bring over a few knights. I've got a lot of prestige. I've got some money. It's a fairly good idea. Okay, you're done now. Let's have you come over. Let's see. There. It won't take you too long. We could use more control. Cypress will take time. I'm not too worried about them. Yeah, good. Be married, all of you. My own boy will be married in how long? Five more years to go there and one day he'll become king too let's have a look at the map the byzantine empire is quite weak right now that actually benefits me a lot i've got more soldiers than i had before do you remember i had one of my daughters marry a man who's got a claim on the empire we could press it here and now if i do that and we take over their children together will be part of my line that would be incredible. Which means I think we should do it. They haven't had a child yet, but in time, that'll happen. He's also not a bad man, but he's also unremarkable. But he does like to beat himself. We all have our secrets. I'll think about it, but for now I do need to rest up. We fought two back-to-back -back wars and I need a moment to breathe. We've got some rebels over here, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm still trying to save up my money. The year is currently 1214 and I should be 58 years old, correct? I'm not feeling great though. I probably won't survive for much longer. Now my daughter has given birth to a son. Let's name him Alexios. No, we're not going to do that. We'll keep it Catholic, okay? Joseph. There we go. Now the queen would like to turn me into the Marshal of Jerusalem. Sure. I'll take that. My armies are going to be a little bit cheaper. If I'm able to survive... I would like to potentially, I don't know, topple the Byzantine Empire. There we go. That battle is over. Right now, my boy over here is training to become a novice physician. That'll give him a small boost to being able to resist diseases and also plus one to learning, which he is going to need. Now, back home over here, we're trying to find out a few secrets because we should. And that's a really large army. What are they doing? I don't really know. All right. We're back over here. 
The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought, but my vassal, Count Hanfroy, has grown bolder. Interesting. I'm gonna talk about his feet, which is a bit weird. Ha, huh, it didn't work out for me, but that's okay. I wish I had a better choice. Okay, 30 days or 12 years. Go work over there. We need peace everywhere. Sodomy? Oh, look at what we found. He's like, every hole's a goal for me. Raymond, look, you know where we're at. You can't do that here, buddy. I'm gonna let everyone know. It's a just thing to do. I'm not going to manipulate him. I'm not gonna lord that over him. I'll just let people know. That's incredible. Now, what about your father over here? Oh, he's got a really bad secret too. I'll tell everyone. I wonder, who did you fornicate with? I have no idea, and part of me doesn't want to know. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Now for a new perk, what should I pick up? That's a really good question. Ah, over here. Flexible truces could be nice too. I'm not worried about having more children. I've got over 300 gold. Maybe in time I'll be able to get more gold from the Pope too. Oh, that would be great. And also, Zenobi is nearly done converting a local culture to our own. Oh wait, there we go. Thank you, Pope. Oh, you don't have money? Really? The Pope is broke? I'll have to wait a bit then. Hopefully in time he'll have some money. And come back, my son. There. Now my boy is a little bit better than he was. There we go. Thank you, Pope. I appreciate my holy allowance over here. All right, so he's done doing that. You've got one more to convert. It'll take you a while, but trust me, it's only going to benefit our kingdom. They still do not like me. It'll change. Wow, that's really bad, actually. Yeah, it'll change. I've got over 600 gold. I could go for it now. A bastard. Man, how much do you have going on? I haven't really dug into his court, but I feel like I need to watch over every single person who serves me here. Again, I'll let everyone know. Everyone needs to know. Oh, that woman died. Because of her poor physique. I've not seen that one before. We now have crop fields over here. And a new faction. Ah, the peasants are angry again. Yeah, that happens a lot. It does. Back over here, Nicosia. One day we'll get more control. Look at that, 754. My income is looking really good right now. I've got one prisoner. You've been here for a year. Let's see, you're a pretty decent commander. I could let you go. Man conversion. Oh, you won't do it? Then no, you get nothing, okay? You get to wait there. A local died. No, I've got to go. I've got to. That gives me more piety. And look at that now. I gained a level of devotion. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. People did like that a lot. Now, I could go after the Byzantine Empire. Oh, you're fighting the Order. Yeah, they're fighting the Assassins, okay. I wonder who's gonna win that one. I don't really know, but a good kingdom invasion. Oh, that would be amazing. It is now time, I think. Let's begin our war. It won't be easy, but we should do it now while they're fighting another war. Now, who's over here? No one can really help me out, which is fine. The Duke over here serves the Emperor, if only they were fighting. Now, let's raise them all up. I do need mercenaries, too. I've got to worry about numbers more than quality, really. 1,500 men, not bad. 792. They don't have a full group, though which is an issue. I could go into debt, but I don't like the idea of being in debt. Though 2,500 men would be incredible. A few mercenaries have already been hired. All right, fine. We'll pick up the keepers over here. Now I've got my group together. I'm better at besieging, so I'll take command. 5,000 men. We've got them. All right, off we go now to Constantinople. It won't be an easy one. Oh, by the way, I did find out who Raymond's father was sleeping with. His daughter over here. Ugh, what a nasty family. Now, let's have a look at Raymond. 
Raymond has a wife, and that wife is a non-believer. I'm telling you, I can't stop finding secrets about them. What a crazy family. They have got to go. All right. Off to war we go now. Hopefully everything will be okay. I no longer need to pin her. Expectations? You're always there for me, and I hope that you know I am grateful. How old are you? You're only five years old. You are a very well-spoken child. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Gwen, you've got some very smart kids. 50 gold to get out of here. Oh, well. I'll pay it. I've got to. Now, my general hope is that I'll be able to quickly take over Constantinople. Oh, the mayor over here formed a new faction. Well, that won't do anything at all. Another secret again. But I don't really care that much. Oh, he's a deviant. Hmm. I'll let everyone know. Unfortunately, my wife did just pass on. I can't believe it. She was 62. She hardly aged. Man, she's finally gone. Now, hold on. While I fight over here, I would imagine that Balian wouldn't know yet. Maybe he'll be able to focus on what's happening over here. We're not going to have him remarry just yet. And it won't be for love either. We had a great life together. Think about when they first met. She was all alone. She feared for her daughter's life. Now her daughter is a queen and we've built a beautiful family together. Man, absolutely incredible. And Stephanie. Ah, look at that chin. It's quite mighty. Well, I'm glad you like me more, I suppose. Let's come back over here. Evidently, taking Constantinople won't be too difficult. Unless I die right now, which would be an issue, and it could happen. My daughter had a daughter. Wonderful. And my other daughter had a son. Were they timing things a little bit? I feel like they were. And my son over there is a seasoned blade master. Wonderful. Okay, Raymond. My ward. You want to study warfare. Yeah, under my tutelage, you'll be okay. You'll do a good job. And over here, you've got a lover. Right. That's my sister-in-law. I'm not going to bother her. Let's go back over to Constantinople. And again, someone is trying to kill Zenobi. Wait, Navarro. Who did you fornicate with? I have no idea. I should probably find her some manner of husband in time. Ugh. And what's over here now? A lesson on valor. I've got to work on my stress soon. But sure. There's your new trait. Now you're brave, kid. Even-tempered. You want to be forgiving? Yeah, be forgiving. I'll teach him well. Another lesson again. 24 stress would be a lot, but I'll do it anyway. He's a bit stubborn. Uh, I was hoping for brave, but oh well. Now, a few children over here lack guardians. We should probably work on that. You need a good steward. We don't really have a lot of good stewards, unfortunately, so I should probably train up a lot. Now, who's over here? Okay, you're 15. I could educate you. It's only for one more year. I'll do it. And Sarah, what about you? Oh, fine. I'll teach them all. I'll open up my own school, okay? It'll be all right. Perfect. I'll teach them all. Okay, we are nearly done conquering their capital, which is great. Wait, hold on. Another secret again? She's a witch? Well, that's logical. She's a non-believer. And also a witch now. I'll let everyone know. There. Now that is a crime. Did you know that, Raymond? I wonder if he knew. I have no idea if he knew or not. What's over here? A new perk? Sure, I'll take that. All right. Here we go now. And you're a deviant, a court chaplain. Dude, are you kidding me? What is going on over there? I'm telling you, they're all about just hedonism. They're all about just partying and doing whatever they want. Louis, you can't kill him, okay? I won't let you do that. Another scene over here. No, let me focus on my siege, okay? There, we did it. Finally, a messenger rushes into my tent, informing me that the white drapes have tumbled over the walls of the barony of Constantinople. Wonderful, we did it. Look who's over here. A man who gave up. I'll take it. Let's go down in speed. I've got it now. He was no warrior. I don't know who I might marry. 
I'm currently 61. I won't be around for much longer. And there we go. We did change up a lot. Hopefully they'll be okay. Now look at his heir. Right over there. That heir belongs to my line. It was a matrilineal marriage. So any more children they have will again belong to my line. We've got to help him out. I would like to ally too, if possible. That would be great. Huh. I can't do it? Okay. Unfortunately, you are fighting the order. And you have no men at all. You might lose some land. You should probably lose some land right now. Leave it alone. Maybe if you focused over here to the west instead, you would have a much easier time. Asia Minor is probably lost. I now have over 500 gold, which is really good. I'll create a new duchy because I'm not a king, so I can have as many duchies as I want. And if I want to fight another war, I probably could. Let's have a look over here. Oh, you've got some power. 2300. Not bad. Many people are having children right now. I mean, a lot of children. Wow. They're all quite busy at the moment. But I'll think about it. For now, though, I think I would like to build up my territories. A new duchy building would be ideal. Another military academy, or I could focus on control if I've got the proper innovation. Yeah, have a look at that. More money. More everything. A leisure palace for more control. We do lack it over here. I could change it up later. You know what? It'll be our vacation home. Done. We should probably have one. When the burdens of responsibility become too much, or an angry mob of peasants is storming the gates, there's no place like the far away... <laughs> right, okay, I gotcha. And what's over here now? You want me to join you in a war? I've got to, I suppose. I don't really want to, but I've got to. I'll try to fight what I can. Yeah, look at that. I wouldn't be able to beat them. I was hoping that maybe he would give up. But it's too late now. Alright. Let's get my army together. Oh, I could fight you again. Great. I would love to do that right now. Let's do it right now. Let's take from him everything. Alright. I could go after the mayor too. That's true. And I could die at any moment. I'm not in great health. Not anymore. We might as well do it. Let's get everyone together now. I'll take a man now. I've got a lot of soldiers. And I've revealed every secret that I could outside of one involving the queen. Only because if I ruin the reputation of a few sinful people, they won't be able to challenge my son in the future when I'm gone. Now I do wonder, you had a child, but I don't know who the father is. Navarro, I won't put you into prison. You made a poor choice, but you're by far too handy. Here's your pardon. If only you would protect my son, too. You're a deviant as well? You know what? I'm no longer shocked. Then again, my spy master has been in their court. Yeah, maybe one of those people fathered a child with her. It's very possible. I could blackmail you, but no. I'll let everyone know. Okay, off the war we go. Let's go beat whoever we can close by. I've got to. We've got to move on right now. There we go. And I probably could have avoided that if I got her married. But then again, she is lusty. Maybe one day we'll find out who the father is. I have no idea right now. Okay, you are studying stewardship. Good job, Beatrice. We could use a few good stewards. One battle is over, but we're not done yet. Toil and hard work. Yeah, be diligent like me. It's a good choice. Here's another fight. I could go after the prince, too. Sure. I have no idea what that is about. Alright, another battle won. Let's take one area at a time. If I'm able to, I'll fight the order where I can. Though again, have a look at what they have. They're not tough. Who's trying to kill him? Margo again. Why do you hate my good people here? I've got to get rid of you. Goodbye now. You two may go. But have a look at that army. 11,000 men. You have a lot. Alright. 
Here we are. We just need to besiege in Tiberius. I'm out of money. And over here, my ward has a level 3 education. Not bad at all. Not bad. What about you? Level 3 again. Alright. All of you may be married now. Enjoy. Yeah, there's my boy. Now he's going to be married too. That was quick. Okay. So we do have a new alliance formed with our leader, which is probably not a bad call. Here's another marriage. Man, Zenobi. You had so many children back to back. Good for you. Alright, those battles were by far too minor. I don't really need to look at them. They barely have any fighters on their side. Isabel, you're a witch too? Yep, sounds about right. I'm no longer shocked. That entire house is quite cursed. They only have a few living members, but they probably amount to most of our sins in our kingdom. Alright, it's over now. One war completed. All done. Now, let's come over here to the east. Another saint. I do like your hat, by the way. And not bad. Another child of my dynasty. You can name that child whatever you want. You just need to win another war. I'm going to try to help out the Byzantine Empire when possible. Though, if they have a foe like that, I can't beat them. Ah, uh, the army of Altair. Who's over here now? Another pilgrim. And here we go. Raymond is a cannibal. Alright. I'll let everyone know. <laughs> you wait until my boy becomes king one day. Alright. That siege is over too. So now we've got more territory. I own one too many areas. I'll have to give it away. Zenobi. You're named after your father. And now you're going to be married to someone who is not only strong, but a giant too. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work out. The war fighting the Order should soon be over. I won't try to fight them right now. That would be a bad choice. I could get more money from the Pope, and I probably should. And I could probably get a few people excommunicated. Oh, I need a bit more money. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what did you do? A fornicator. I'll get her. She's been denounced. Nice. Let's try to get her. All right, there's my money. She's in my prison now. I'm not going to ransom you, and I want your title. I've got it. Great. All right. We've got two holdings of the wrong type. I'll grant it over to a low noble then. Sure. But who? It could be one of my daughters. I'll think about it. Yeah, I've got a few options. I've got really good people here who have served me for a very long time. Maybe they deserve it too. But I also want to keep my daughters local. Count Guy? No, it can't be you. Sophia? Sure. There you go. Take that. Alright, she's my vassal now. One day I'll give them more land. I've got one more to give away. But to who though? It's a city holding. I could give it to, let's see here, who else do I have? I've got a few good knights, people who love me a lot. Maybe not to a cannibal. Here's a daughter and knight. There's Maria, Theodora. Let's see, what about opinion of me? Yeah, many of you do love me. I could give it to my spy master. Sure. There. She's my vassal now. And no longer my spy master. Oh wait, she's back now. There we go, perfect. So now you've got your own level of power. And let's see, you need a new teacher. You're all about intrigue. I've got a good teacher for you. A Lord Mayor, or sorry, a Lady Mayor rather. Convert culture, not needed. All right. Can I get rid of you yet? I feel like you should go to prison. There we go. All right. And for you, Stephanie. Oh, darn it. I can't get rid of her title. I could get rid of her completely. But I'll have to wait and see. If only I could get rid of that. Maybe I'll try to, I don't know, get a hook on her. But for now, you'll wait in prison. And there we go. Let's have a look at my lands again. I own all of that. 
I've got a few too many vassals, but I own all of it now. That's a lot of money we're gaining. Oh, he's in trouble. He's been excommunicated. Hopefully in time we'll be able to get rid of him. And if not me, then my son. Is the Count over here no longer your lover? Did you grow tired of his big ears? I have no idea, but she wants me to be his lord. Alright. Now you're my vassal. I wonder... Am I able to revoke your title? I can. Have a look at that. He might even rebel. No, he's going to rebel. There is no might. And over here... I'll get you two. Finally! I've been trying to get rid of these guys forever. Alright. Now let's go back. Revoke title. He's been excommunicated. I mean, I've been growing and growing when it comes to my relation to the Pope and the Church at large. So when I tell someone, like the Pope, hey, these are bad men, he tends to believe me. Let's come over here now. And have a look at you. Oh, you're a captain. And you come from Saladin's clan, his family. Now that's incredible. No, you're not going to lead here, buddy. I'll take command. Now, why don't we divide up? Yeah, we'll do that. Count Guy, you come over here. And I'll go way over there. Yeah, he's bound to rise up. Perfect, okay. It's been a very long time, but here's what we're able to do now. Count Guy, you are once again my marshal. Wonderful. Now hold on. Navarro, I want you to move back over to, let's see, these lands down over here. It'll take you a while, but go do that for me. My mercenaries are leaving, which is fine. I don't really care. I've got plenty of men right now. Yeah, there's one minor battle. We got him. It's over now. All right, buddy. That's it for you. Now I get to take over your title. That belongs to me, which means it belongs to my son. I might hold on to it for now, or I might give it to someone. I'm not sure. It could be my son, too. He could hold on to it because, again, I'll only be here for maybe a few more years. The Order is winning the war. I'm not going to try to fight them right now. We don't have the numbers for it. Hello there, Raymond. I might be old, but I'll fight you anyway. Now, I can't kill you, you crazy cannibal you. But if I can, I'll capture you. Done. I've got him. All right. I'm not going to let you go. Cannibals are kind of scary. Now come over here. We've got one more war to win, then we'll be done. Everyone is entertained. We'll have a look at that. He fought one more battle, then he finally passed on. Prince Belian I of Ascalon has found peace in Christ's embrace at 62 years of age. He died of old age. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. Prince Belian ascends to the throne. Fair and just in all things, many hope that he will handle any conflicts with grace. Now why don't we continue? He's only 21. When our Belian II is back from his studies to become a better physician, he'll find out that he's now a prince and his father has since passed on. Now, his father did a lot of good work for him. Many of the more sinful and evil counts and countesses over in our kingdom have been exposed. Right now we're fighting a war to capture another one. Once we do that, hopefully we'll be able to get rid of his title. Now, over here, our people are doing pretty well. Falco, you've got three children. Sophia, you've got four. Pavlos, you've got three children too. Not bad. Gwen, you've got four children. Well, good for you. Now, what about you? Your husband died. Okay. Need to check on how later on. I don't want to know right now. Was it in a siege? Huh. Well, you have a child over here. He's a handsome albino child. I wonder what your other name might be if you're going to be renamed. I have no idea. Now, who else do we have? Zenobi. He's currently 53 years old. And he's got his four children. One son named after him. Oh, he's one elusive shadow. He's not too bad. Now, after that, 
What about our neighbors over here? Like Altair. Oh, he's doing fine. He did lose two children. One drowned. Another died. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember. Count Guy, you're currently 59. You're a drunkard, but still very much alive. You outlived my father. Interesting. Who's over here? Right, you married Pavlos. Over in the Byzantine Empire, they're gaining a bit more power, but they're about to lose a bit of territory. That's okay. Now, thank you for watching, everyone. Look forward to a new part very soon. And until then...